Okay, I think this is streaming. And here we go for another impromptu stream. Should be finishing up the way Musou mode today. Might start another one once that's done. Right into our trap. You fools! Okay, uh, let's see, I played Childhood Doom in the last battle, so let's play South South here. You know, if their weapon levels max out, I may actually just try to unlock their level 10 weapons. But we'll worry about that when I get to it. See this? Yeah, it should be going. Now I believe if I uh, defeat Chen Chi here, and that'll piss off Wang Zhong, and he'll show up at Wu Zhang Plank. Which I'll try to do. I really like this opening to the stage as well. It's pretty unique. Oh, I forgot he's just, like, gone. Set up ambushes. Yeah, no, nah, I guess he escapes. Because I don't want to get locked in there. My first time playing it, I would like to actually go through the whole stage and not essentially start at the end. I'm glad that you don't lose morale if Shinji goes back to his camp as well. Because that's really hard to prevent when he's like right in this front of the gate. Even if he does have really low HP. One second. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a unique cutscene for this. Silence! The day Wang Zhong leaves the front, 
is the day he dies. There's basically a cutscene for every single character calling Hong Kong old, even himself. And Huang Zhong has left the battlefield. <laughs> he just challenges me and then runs off. Okay, he's back. Wow, he actually hits pretty hard. Wow, you just coming to fight me here. I kind of don't want to fight the commander this early in the stage. I guess I'm supposed to let Huang Zhong actually uh, take Mountain Ding Jun. This does not look good. I guess taking so long is what triggered Liu Bei coming up here. Barely damage Hong Kong. It's really hard to hit them thanks to uh, DW4's like auto target business. Doesn't help that he's so buffed up for this stage too. Hanhao Han How is almost dead just because he's been fighting for so long. So at least once you beat down some of the soldiers, it becomes easier to focus on officers. You're currently fighting their commander, Hong Kong. General, there is no beauty in responding to taunts. Okay. Man, they get really block heavy.
All right, that was rude of you, Liu Bei. We were in the middle of something. I may be out of arrows, but I still have a bow. And now let's just forget about Liu Bei for now, because I'd like that to fight the other officer here. So I would like to pick up a horse somewhere, but oh well, screw it. Wow, you are being a real dick. Join our allies. the sake of my lord, I cannot fall here. Alright, I'm glad to see Zhao Yun's horse didn't despawn. Now the real problem will be getting on the damn thing with all these enemies around. The enemies in this game just really don't want to let you get on a horse, ever. I mean, all you want to do is just get away from them. Showed up since Sao was already here. I guess just a large number of troops showed up because I'm not seeing any new officers.
I'm pretty sure there's some ambush troops around here too. Strength is but one aspect of power. My ambition will not easily be crushed. Especially hitting pretty damn hard. I really wish that last attack had hit. There we go. This defeat is all part of the plan. Of course it is, Yugli Honk. It always is. Enemy officer defeated! And you want to do as well, all right? My ambition will not easily be crushed. Characters with gravitats are always especially scary to duel. Surprise that got through. There we go. It's still a lot easier than the Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends Must have been something I ate. In that game, the AI got really improved for dueling. Enemy officer defeated! All right, now just have Liu Bei. Crush them with one blow. And how it's done really well to stay alive this entire time. And there we go. I cannot die here, not before the Han is restored. Mindless fodder. That's a good item to upgrade.
All right, it's just Masu on the map right now. I forget how tiny some of these battles feel. Especially when we're only getting like half of the map. Like, I believe this is actually the Wuzhang playing map, we're just getting like a small portion of it. I think Ding Jun was also that. Surround Masu's camp at the summit. Seal the base without being detected by the enemy. They are strong. They're pretty good. I probably waste more time trying to get on horses than I would if I just started walking on foot. But I still want to get on the damn horse. I think I just need to get Jenk to advance far enough and then he'll start a cutscene. I like how Simi Yi keeps advising us to move quietly, but there's really nothing quiet about any of this. Like, what it actually means is don't approach Masu's gates, but I'm pretty sure they're all locked anyway, so why would you? No, it's Ji Ting. The one, the one where you fight Masu. Tong Gate is actually sort of hard to unlock in this. It's like considered a secret battle. I love how he does a little twirl. I imagine so. Flowers need water, and these flowers have none. Let us move now with elegance, grace, and beauty. I do really love Zhang Ke's voice actor in this game. Now, 
All that is left is to defeat Monsoon. How can I face the Prime Minister after this? I must lay at least one blow on Sima Yi. Well, Masu's morale shut up. Uh, shut up. He was at like two morale. Now he's at five. I feel like the opposite should have happened, but whatever. I bow to your skills. Fucking arrows. to die quickly I love that response to a duel Shadow Dune despite having the same voice actor for like Dynasty Warriors 4 to Dynasty Warriors 8 uh, his earlier versions are a lot more brutal sounding he's a lot more calm and composed in later iterations you fight well I shall withdraw for now my husband, Masu will not last much longer. Please do all you can to rescue Masu. I've taken out an officer! Let us go as well. You daily off. You have chosen an inept commander. It seems you have an eye for battle, but not people. That's a very accurate statement regarding Hugo the Young, considering what happened at Jing Province. Basically, Hugo the Young's worst mistakes are when people didn't do what he expected them to do. Specifically, his allies. Oh, there are a lot of boxes here. Let's see what's in them. Nothing of value. Fantastic. Our chance. All units, attack Zhuge Liang. I am a warrior before I am a woman. So you wish to die quickly? There's been a lot of duels in this, uh, in this battle. And also the last one, I guess. And that was pathetic. This will not happen next time!
in battle, strength alone will not save you. Shadow Dune is just dealing so much damage. That was a nice, e easy stage. Oh yeah, I always found it annoying, how he makes it sound like his retreat is always part of his plan. Even when he's the freaking commander and him retreating means they lost. I've been giving my bodyguards the pike because uh, it increases their attack the most. That Muso stat of theirs, I believe, is basically pointless because I don't believe they can use any Muso attacks. So, really, just you want to focus on attack or defense. Generally, attack if you want them to actually be helpful. Ozzy is short for Ozymandias. That entire bodyguard pl platoon is named after uh, the characters I use in Fate Grand Order. The male characters specifically. I should probably make another bodyguard pl platoon for when I play, uh, play the next Muso mode. I leave Sima Yi in command of this battle. I don't know what to name them though. Zhuge Liang. The stars prophesy that Zhuge Liang's death is imminent. Withstand his attacks until he is gone. The enemy strong. We have to fight harder. I deliberately didn't pick any of them with names from Three Kingdoms, so... I wasn't doing that so it would make sense. I just did it because I wanted a unique bodyguard lineup, and those were the only names I could think of. Let's see, which side is most likely to get wrecked first? Uh, probably the side with Wei on. He's got higher morale. He'll also turn right back around and keep charging. Even when they start to fate the retreat. Good job. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, the gate is locked. Ah, well that's really annoying. That's a serious downside with starting itself, so.
my favorite character in Dynasty Warriors, uh, that would be Sima Yi. He doesn't have the best moveset in this game, and I you unlock him really late. So I'm probably not going to be playing him. At least not, not anytime soon. I do at least like that in this game the battles aren't as super hectic, so like you actually have time to start at the very back of the map and run around and go down a dead end and still come in time to support your allies. It's really hard to land all the hits with South South C6. I think Leon was on a horse, if I can find where that was. Maybe he wasn't, or maybe it despawned. I ended up looking up how to unlock horses, and they're basically all on like extra stages that you have to go out of your way to unlock. Nothing you'll get just playing naturally. If I had managed to unlock Tong Gate, I believe we could have gotten the Shadow Harness, which is basically the second best one. I am the Sword of Justice. You use a spear. Ambition will not easily be crushed. I could parry these guys, but if I just did nothing but parry them, then I'd run out of time and there would be no point. There we go. I 
will challenge you again soon. Be ready. Even my death cannot impede our march. Onward to our Lord's glory. Enemy officer defeated. We can't fall behind. What? Yu Ge Leong is finally all units. We group will launch a counterattack. Enemy officer defeated. Yeah, basically in Dynasty Warriors 4, no one dies until they're in their final battle. Like the absolute final battle. And I have one more battle against Shu after this. I know we just had a quote unquote death scene for Giga Leong, but it's complete bullshit. Lay down the bridge. We will crush them there. I actually really like that uh, in this game everyone like stays alive. Like Shahi Yuan, I think is always here. Like even Dion Wei will show up in these late stages. Because uh, I like it because it gives like a sense of like this is the Wei army. Like you get a good feel for like all of the characters, like they're all part of this. As opposed to like say Sun Jian dying almost immediately in the Wu campaign. Yeah, or the first damn stage, like that's where we're late. Oh boy, Juggernauts. I'm just going to ignore those. As much as I can. That must be Zhu Ge Liang's new supply unit. Oh jeez. This is our chance. Destroy them all! I forgot the supply unit appeared over here. Wow, that Juggernaut is going eight shit. My soldiers are already doing pretty good of tearing him apart. I bow to your skills. Well, if it isn't the lowly Masu, it's as if we've already won. <laughs> I will remember this. <laughs> I love seeing he just immediately makes fun of him. I believe the result of that is, yeah, Masu's morale just drops to nothing. All because of that one insult. You won't break through here. I will lure the curse this way. Attack the supply depot. I also really like uh, Simi's voice actor in this game. It's actually the same one that voices Yuga Leon, and will continue to voice him until Dynasty Warriors 8. Or until Dynasty Warriors 9. What? Yuga Leon lives? Retreat! It's a trap! He <laughs> just slowly backs off. He is still alive! Retreat! Retreat! 
I actually think his voice actor does a better job voicing Simi Yi in this game than he does Jiga Leong. The enemy's strong. We have to fight harder. He actually shows emotion with Simi Yi, as opposed to just the complete deadpan he has with Jiga Leong. I like both sides having the morale rise. This is how into into the fight everyone is. I will defeat you. I like how Xiao Yun had like has like two random bombardier soldiers. That's such a rare enemy type. Normally it's just one guy that has that. Yeah, I honestly miss all the uh, mini cutscenes. Especially in games like this, where like, there's a different version depending on which character you play as. Oh yeah, Jean Gouy's voice out there, I remember being pretty unique in this, because, uh, I believe he's the only one in the cast that's actually voiced by a Chinese person. And only for this game as well. It would be kind of funny if Zhang Wei changed his name to Zhang Xu just for what he's going to do.
Uh, have I read Berserk? No, I have not read Berserk. Uh, I've seen... Some, I've seen the movies, and I've played the Warriors video game. Uh, I enjoy it. shall be thwarted. That's such a weird thing to say to someone, you shall be thwarted. I guess it's meant to, I guess it's meant to sound old timey. Yeah, isn't it weird that Shu randomly has a yellow turbans officer here?
weird how it's weird how true Muso attacks deal less damage than like a regular Muso. Like I'm not sure what they were thinking with that. I guess they thought the fire damage would make up for it, but it really doesn't. I don't know, maybe they're too strong in Dynasty Warriors 3, so they just decided to nerf it for this game. I bow to your skills. Yeah, even like the DOT damage from fire is a lot weaker than it was in Dynasty Warriors 3. Man, Liu Bei has so many archers around him. Like, it's smart, but damn is it annoying. Really hard to predict where Liu Bei is gonna go when he uses his charge one. It's really nice how well this game works. Normally, when your bodyguards show up all of a sudden like that, the in uh, the PS2 version, the game just cannot handle it and it'll slow down. The PC version is probably the best way to play this. Enemy officer defeated! I cannot die here. Not before the Han is restored. I didn't realize that stage took me 20 minutes. Damn. No, it was a potential final battle, so it's appropriate. And now we have a surprise final battle. Which is a complete what-if battle, I believe. All those sub officers for South South. 
Man, and all the salads here. <laughs> it's like every every commander is a sow, and then there's CBE. Yeah, Oh right, if I completely ignore Wei Yan, I can actually get him to defect and join us for this battle. So I'm gonna try to do that. Just because it's interesting. This one battle shall seal the fate of Shu. There's also going to be a ton of ambushes, so there's going to be a lot more officers than what we saw on the on the intro screen there. The enemy is strong. You must not act. Know that my orders are the orders of our Lord. I've taken out an officer! We can't fall behind! You scum destroy the dreams of our fathers. I, Zhang Bao, son of Zhang Fei, shall smite you. Oh yeah, it just occurred to me. I completely missed uh, Zhang Fei's Zhang Ban cutscene, where he made a stand at the bridge. Because I went the complete opposite direction. <laughs> I still only just barely managed to. Uh, Stop Liu Bei in that stage, so it was worth it. I've taken out an officer. We can't fall behind. Can you guys please just chill? Okay, good. Zheng Bao over here with max morale. And my die pushed forward pretty far. I actually don't want to approach Little Castle just yet, because that'll trigger siege weapons and then all of a sudden I'll have to protect them. Arbalest unit, begin your attack. Ah damn, it's already started. Before they enter Chengdu. Only true commanders actually praise their siege weapons. It appears that the Arbalest cannot fire directly down. Wait until they are reloaded. And advance the ram to the gates. 
I really gotta stop my die. He's just walking straight up to South Cell over there. Hopefully my allies can uh, spawn another ram and break through the gate on their own. And Jing Bao can just be ignored for now. Oh my god, these freaking archers. There we go, good job Siege, rep siege Weapons. Now let's go deal with Jing Bao. <laughs> They're pretty good. Especially now that all my allies are fighting him. It's rare to see a generic in hyper mode.
yet fall behind. Let us continue on to shoot captain of Chengdu. Well, young, do you not want to satisfy your feelings? Well, young, why not join our forces? If you do, you can fight to your heart's content. I live only for battle. <laughs> It's so cool that you can do that. I mean, it's the final stage, so nothing else really matters anymore. So may as well just have one of them join us. And I do like it that the game doesn't tell you, hey, you can recruit Wei Yan. It just shows them having an argument. And then CBU just takes advantage of it if he's still alive. Now here is where a lot of ambushes are going to take place. Ambush parties. It is time. Hide in the fog and surprise the enemy. You actually really want to go after gate captains at this stage because uh, they're all considered Liu Bei's troops. But Liu Bei isn't on the map, so his morale is always going to be at six stars. Which means his troops are always going to hold you off for a long while. Or hold your allies off for a long while. Unless, of course, your own allies get really high on morale. Then they can start to make some progress. And right now, my guys are doing pretty good. But six star morale is still pretty hard to overcome. This far and, no and especially here, because all the ambush troops are just new base troops. So like here is actually a good point to just stop and kill all the troops, you see. Or at least most of them, as much as you care to kill. Uh, actually, has Liu Bei appeared now? Oh, he has. Okay, so yeah, now especially, killing his fruit will actually keep his morale low. Another thing that'll help you control morale really easily is just killing one of the sub-officers, because that's an immediate, like, minus one morale to whoever they were under control of. I don't want to get too far from Cao Cao right now because I'm pretty sure someone ambushes him later on. I think it's Ma Chao. I believe Guan Yu and Zhang Fei appear in this forest if you walk to the right places and get the ambush to trigger. To die. Arguan Ping, sure. Fall behind. 
Yeah, now Liu Bei is down to one morale. He's not going to be a threat now. Oh, even Guan Yu is considered a sub-officer of him. Yeah, there's Ma Chao. How dangerous is Machao? Uh, max morale, pretty frightening. Uh, no, not max, but one away. Yeah, South South's actually fine, he's way over there. I think he can move to Luo Castle. Maybe I have to defeat Machao first for that to happen. You will go no further! And since Guan Yu showed up, now I can steal red hair. I'm gonna play Lu Bu's Mizu mode as soon as I can, just so I can get to the stage that will actually unlock red hair. Could have sworn Jiang Fei was supposed to appear in a... Whoops, hold on. Accidentally click off there. I'm pretty sure Zhang, Zhang Fei was supposed to appear in that forest and ambush as well, but he just has not shown up. I am the sword of Again, you use a spear. So you wish to die quickly. Well, that was, uh, disappointing, honestly. I have no regrets. <laughs> I think you should regret that last duel. It's actually going to be really funny if I kill Guan Yu, kill Liu Bei, and Zhang Fei never shows up. <laughs> like, they could have at least kept their oath and all died on the same day, but Zhang Fei just refused to trigger his ambush. Alright, Yu Ying's over here with Juggernaut, going ape shit.
I was hoping not to aggro one of the juggernauts, but it looks like I did. God, that's why I didn't want to aggro them. They hit like a motherfucker. Like one attack from the juggernaut just brought me down to like less than half. It's because of how the juggernauts attack. Like they uh they hit you multiple times with their fire breath. Yeah, I'm just gonna let my allies handle that juggernaut mess over there. Okay, good, they stopped. Oh, right, right, there's mines here. Mines in their own city. What will they think of next? Are you guys ready for trial and error? <laughs> Because there's no goddamn way to predict where the mines are. Just walk forward and eventually you'll get through it. Maybe. <laughs> God, this is ridiculous. Let's actually go back and find help. Like, at least the mines do, like... Jesus! Blow up. Fuck, I might die here. Okay, I don't think they can kill you. That last one should have. Jesus. I thought the mines blew up. I didn't think they respawned. I'm pretty sure you can eventually clear through it, though. Maybe you just don't have the HP to tank it. I was hoping one of the Juggernauts would drop a health item. It doesn't look like they're going to. Okay, well, new plan. See, I know we could clear it. There's really absolutely no reason to, but I just wanted to beat it. I think if you trigger enough of the mines, though, like, it'll eventually say they've been disarmed. And I actually want to get this over here. Because I'm pretty sure this pot. Yeah, it was a Muso wine. Yeah, see? If you explode enough of the mines, then it becomes easier to traverse, and your allies will actually start going down the path. So if you don't want to go around, brute force is absolutely an option. It's not the best option, but it's an option. <laughs> I've taken out an officer. Forgive me, Prime Minister. 
Mister. Yuki Leong has done pretty well to keep his morale up through all this. One aspect of power. So you wish to die quickly. Ah, jeez. It appears I have met my destiny. <laughs> I would have laughed so much if you just fell down, died, and he said, all according to plan. <laughs> Now, are you ready to slaughter some peasants? Lord Liu Bei. Peasants? Why are you dressed for war? We're your people, Lord Liu Bei. It's our duty. Man, what was that one peon smoking? To repay your kindness. They all sound like they're totally baked. You may notice these peons have absolutely abysmal HP, so you can absolutely just slaughter them if you want to. I don't believe the peasants stop spawning either. I guess they're meant to be like Liu Bei's like, last line of defense. But they're not very good. If anything, they just build your Muso faster. Zhang Fei never showed up. He was supposed to ambush us, but he just didn't come. <laughs> The final battle of Jang Fei forgets to <laughs> trigger his own ambush. His son died, <laughs> but not Jang <Zheng> Fei. <laughs> Now the ending cutscene may play twice because uh, there were two files for ending cutscenes but I couldn't figure out which ones were supposed to go where so I just sort of put them in twice. <laughs>
<laughs> yep, it did play twice. Oh well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have the cutscenes for the ending, because I couldn't really find them. But yeah, you can see on this little timeline, all those uh, extra ones are uh, sages you can unlock. Yeah, if you just play, like, the standard stages, like if you play every single one of them, then you won't unlock, like, any of the extra stages. You have to go out of your way and play unorthodox to... when exactly I downloaded this game, but, like, I've transferred the files across from every computer I've had since, like, high school to now. So it's been... it's been through a lot. Alright, I just pressed start because <laughs> we're not seeing anything, it's just the song. I could have looked the whole song play out, but nah. Yeah, we don't need to see the opening. Alright, well, that was the the way Muso mode. Uh, I'd like to stream for like two hours. So I still have like 30 minutes. Uh, give me one second to try to look up how to unlock level 10 weapons for Shahodun and Sao Tzu. And I might see about doing that. I should have looked this up before the stream, but no, I didn't think about it until I was actually doing it. Should be a decent guide on game facts. Now let's just search for Shahodun. Okay, Shao Dunes is really easy, just defeat Yao Chan after the arrow cutscene. Then Sao Tzu's at Chibi, that'll be easy to do as well. Which is basically just succeed well in Chibi. Okay, I should be able to do that, I should at least be able to get Shao Dunes. So, time to do Shapi again. You know, this is actually good because now I have a chance to fight Lubu again. Now that I have a matched character, I may as well give that a fair shot.
Oh, I already have Lubu and Yuan Shao unlocked. I must have unlocked both their Musa modes, and the game just did not tell me. Alright, cool. Uh, I guess next time I stream, I'll probably play Lu Bu's Musa mode, because that's what I need to do to uh, get red hair, and I'd rather have red hair sooner rather than later. Oh yeah, I guess that is a challenge with this stage, since defeating Diao Chan is a requirement, I will have to defeat Lu Bu as well. So this will be fun. The beast Lu Bu must die today! Lu Bu has tightly shut his gates. First, we must eliminate any enemies that come charging out. Young Liao should ambush pretty soon. Huh, they're pretty good. There he is, but he's all the way down there. So I'll just keep going up here and kill this guy. Oh yeah, one thing I really like about Dynasty Warriors 4 is sort of like the randomization to it. Like, if you're playing standardly, uh, you won't have a lot Sauron before you've done this stage. But on replays, Sauron could potentially appear in uh, this spot, as well as like multiple other way characters, which is cool. It makes the battle slightly different every time you do them. It doesn't change much because they just have the AI of a standard officer, but it's still cool. We must not fall behind. shall be your opponent. So you wish to die quickly. Yeah, he died quickly. Now I'm going to go ahead and be trying to head for that, uh, that carriage. I no longer have reason to serve Lord Lu Bu, but is Cao Cao worthy of my allegiance, perhaps? <laughs> Bring light to the world. For that, I'll give him one eye. <laughs> Shahadun's morale is dropping. Shahadun's morale is rising. He, he can't make up how he feels about being shot in the face. Hopefully I can catch up to the carriage. It's gonna be kind of a pain without a horse. I can 
take you. You probably can, Lubu. Lubu intends to arrive if you want to There we go. You cannot allow this to happen. Ah, oh, jeez, he just started musoing off screen. I'm not going to defeat Lubu right now. What I'm going to do is weaken him. I don't know if his HP will carry over, but ideally once he gets super buffed up after Jiao Chan dies, he'll only have like a sliver of HP left. Alright, that should be good enough. And ideally he won't like full heal himself after I kill Jiao Chan. I guess I'll just let him go this time. I suppose it is kind of a unique horse. Like, it doesn't have the proper saddle, but it's a white one. Now, if I can escort Guan Yu here, there should be a cutscene where he gets red hair. You barely have to damage those guys before they give up. They are not very committed to this. Lubu seems to be stuck fighting some officers and not actually going inside the, uh, inside of his, inside of Shapi again. Why haven't you retreated yet? I mean, if you want to die, sure. I'll take the hit speed. I've taken out an officer! There's a lot of pots here. I was hoping one of them would have like a dim sum or something. Guan Yu may not go after red hair until Lu Bu actually starts to go after him. And Lu Bu might be stuck up there. Oh right, I have to lower the water first.
Yeah, I have to lower the water before we can even reach red hair. I can't remember if there was a notification for doing that or not yet. Either way, Guan Yu is completely abandoned where red hair would be. <laughs> Everyone's just kind of surrounding Lu Bu right now. Yeah, I can't even trigger the amb the water attack. Going to that boulder was supposed to trigger it. I guess because Lu Bu can't get back inside Sha Pi, it means it's not going to trigger. Oh well. Oh, no, here it goes. Apparently I had to enter Shop E. I guess someone had to enter Shop E for it to work. There is a stream going through the castle. That will substantially limit our movements. Oh, jeez. I was just trying to pass by. I really didn't want to mess with you, but man, those peons are really ganging up on them. Boulders to dam the stream going through the castle. Ha! The water's receding. Attack! Okay, that opened more of the gates. Must not get his hands on red hair. We must get it before him. Charging blindly again. The warrior only sees the battlefield. I like how you just cannot fight Chin Gong in this stage. No matter what, if you approach him, this cuts in place. I am no longer needed here. Betray me to Tengong! Dead! We will have to retreat! Uh oh, that's actually kind of bad, now that I think about it. Because now Diao Chan's going to try to leave. Okay, there we go. From the chaos. I like how the music changes to uh, run, run, run. Ironically, when you can't anymore. Yep, there we go. Here and Fang. That was pretty easy to get. Let's go see if Lubu full healed himself or not. Nope, he didn't, so my strategy worked. Now we just need to hit him like twice and he should die. Yeah, you just get the weapon automatically in this game. There's no weapon drops. Yeah. 
And I believe one of the benefits of having a level 10 weapon is that you don't need full Muso to, uh... ...to use elemental attacks. Now let's see if I can get South Souths. And his is at Chibi. Where I essentially just need to do everything right. Uh, let me double check, actually. Uh, defeat Hugo Leong to trigger Huang Gai's approach. Defeat Gan Ning Lu Ming before Huang Gai arrives. Then defeat Huang Gai before he starts the fire attack. Uh, and it also seems a need to stop Ping Tong as well. Alright. Well, let's see how that goes. Yeah, just making sure it is level 9. If your weapon isn't level 9, you can't even get the weapon, regardless. I guess I'll equip the speed scroll just to move slightly faster. If stopping Pang Tong is a priority, then I should just head left immediately. Because, yeah, he's right over there. And then I'll just Zerg Rush Yuga Liang. And then go after Gan Ning Lu. And then Huang Gai should show up by then. Oh yeah, I forgot about the alt outfits. I, I suppose I should have uh, worn different ones. Cao Cao actually has kind of a funny one, because like, he will get flames on the end of his cape. Like he's a freaking race car or something. They're pretty good. The enemy's strong. We have to fight harder. The enemy is strong. Exercise caution. Hmm. They are strong. Oh yeah, we have CBE at Chibi, even though he was like the last person we unlocked him way. There's a strange altar set up in the enemy camp. Hmm. Didn't work, huh? Lord Jude Beyond, I have come to assist you. The enemy is strong. All right, that's one down. We have to fight harder. Enemy officer defeated. So this is it, huh? Oh yeah, in free mode everyone dies. One U isn't a requirement here, so I'm actually just going to try to ignore him. But I will yank his horse. That was like the most successful horse theft I have ever had. Prepare yourself. Summon the wind. Enemy 
Enemy officer defeated! It appears I have met my destiny. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard to get back on this horse. We can't fall behind! The Blue General Huang Gai wishes to surrender. He is already headed for our position. But if I can... Alright, now I just need to rush to... Ga Ning and Lu Ming. I may as well go around from behind. I was hoping one of them would challenge me to a duel. My ambition will not easily be crushed. Now if I can act just actually beat them in the duel, that'll be great. Ah, come on. Don't you dare heal. You son of a bitch! I knew they could do it in duels, but he, they hadn't done it yet. Oh, come on, really? Ah. I even parried him at the end there, but he just had to do a muso. All right, let's hope I can do this in time. Enemy officer defeated. My lord, forgive me. Let us join our allies. And... Gunning should be right next to me, isn't he? Yeah. There he is, okay. You want a piece of Gunning? Come and get it! Alright, here's another attempt. My ambition will not easily be crushed. No, no grab for you. Ah, they defend so quickly. And there's really not a damn thing you can do about their parries. I can't hear the bells anymore. Alright, now let's rush to where Hong Guy's gonna appear. Let us go as well. For a ship that is about to surrender, it is moving way too fast. We must prevent that ship from approaching us. I may have actually had plenty of time for this. Oh no, he's right here. Damn, he got here quick. Maybe he moves faster on hard mode. Definitely felt like he got here faster. Of course, he hasn't fully spawned in yet. Water. 
It'll spawn eventually. Probably. I could have gone and got help, but eh. I can probably handle Hong Guy. Are you guys going to come over here and help? I don't know what made them get stuck over there. I would really like to be able to see. You're strong, but do not falter. Okay, that should have gotten me the weapon. I suppose the young ones can take over from here. You must not fall behind. If you fail such an important task, I shall carry this shame with me eternally. Do not falter. Show them our might! Mm, I thought it would give me the weapon. There it goes. Okay. It was just taking a while. Alright, now we just play the stage. Unfortunately, you can't, like, equip the weapon immediately, but oh well. Oh, as for which weapon system I prefer, I definitely prefer a level system. Just because it gives you a sense of, like, actual progression, as opposed to, like, man, I really hope a weapon with uh, a full moveset drops. Whereas this guarantees you'll have, like, a character's full moveset if you just play them and level them. I prefer keeping it simple and not having, like, all the attributes and special effects that uh, most Warriors games have apply on the random weapon drops. Are we not too far out? Uh, no, I do not like Dynasty Warriors Nine at all. I hear it's a lot better now that they, like, had like a year or so to patch the damn thing. But I'm still just not really into it. I don't really see myself going back to playing it. Oh, 
know, it occurs to me I wouldn't unlock these weapons, but I may not even play these characters again after this. There's so many others that I could be leveling up. Though, if I want to unlock all the extra stages, I will have to replay Wei Musa mode at some point. And I believe some of those have some fairly difficult requirements, like defeating Lubu at Hulao Gate, so I probably will need like a max character like Shaho Doom for that. Wow, well, Guan, you doing work on the enemy side over there. So, oh, Dynasty Warriors Nets is a game I own and have actually completed, and I did actually want to record it, but like, it's such a hassle to record a Vita game, particularly one that requires motion controls, because I can't use my, uh, my PSTV for that. So, it would just be a huge hassle to actually try to get that to work. And frankly, I don't even know where to start with that. So that's the main reason I haven't recorded that particular game. Uh, I collect the Muso and Life Ups if I know where they're at, but I don't really keep up with where they're at, so... It's mostly I just don't care enough to look for them, or to look up a guide online to try to find them all. There's a few more officers I could kill, but I may as well just finish off Zoom Beyond here.
All right, there we go. Though I may die, the Soon family will prevail. Nice. And I still don't have Sao Sao or Shahodun at max level yet. But I have their 10th weapon, so whatever. Now, let's see if I did unlock them. Yeah, I unlocked Yuan Xiao and Lu Bu just for clearing Wei. I thought I had to clear Wei Wu and Xiu to get Lu Bu, but I guess if you finish Wei, you just get two extra Musa modes, which is really nice. Uh, but yeah, next time I stream, I'll probably play Lu Boos. Uh, just so I can get red hair unlocked and then no longer have to worry about running around on foot for everything. Also because Lu Boo is fun to play us. Uh, alright, well, I'll call the stream here for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm really enjoying this, so I think I'm gonna keep doing it. I don't know if I can keep it up every day, but, uh, we'll see. Alright, see you guys later.